Arthur Kornberg isolated the first enzyme, DNA polymerase 1, which can make new DNA strands. He first extracted DNA polymerase from E. coli and added it to a salt solution containing template DNA molecules and the four deoxynucleotides. He included radioactively labeled thiamine as tag to monitor any new DNA molecules that were made. After incubating these components at body temperature, the radioactive thymine turned up in long polynucleotides. This meant that DNA polymerase had incorporated the radioactive thymine along with the other nucleotides as it built a new DNA strand using the available template. Kornberg also found that replication only occurs when all four nucleotides are present. Omit one, and polynucleotide chains are not synthesized. DNA polymerase also requires intact DNA to serve as a template. Add DNase, which digests the template DNA into pieces, and polynucleotide production is halted. So, as Watson and Crick had predicted, DNA is used as a template to replicate itself. DNA polymerase is the enzyme that makes it happen. Later, it was discovered that cells have not just one, but three different DNA polymerases. It turned out that the one Kornberg discovered, DNA polymerase 1, is used mostly for DNA repair and not for DNA replication. DNA polymerase 3, isolated by Arthur Kornberg's son, Tom Kornberg, is a major enzyme that replicates DNA in E. coli. Thank you.